Major Slack Attack. Boy, well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim, the Hearthfire DLC. We are here in the luxurious and venerable Lakeview Manor, and we are going on a skeever tail hunt. Um, let me just quickly whip up some temporary poisons that we can use on this hunt. We may even come up with our first trophy in this hunt. Um, Death Bell. River Betty. Uh, salt Pile. As many Death Bells we have, that would be 14. And finally, Red Mountain Flower. To pick up the slack for the River Betty. Can't pull it off. There we go. These are going to be poisons of slow with additional poison. The river bay is going to make the best. Here we go. Target moves at 50% speed for 58 seconds, almost a minute, and causes almost 60 points of poison damage. And um, you can make the same with red mountain flower as well. It won't give as much poison damage, but it will do. And we are after a whole bunch of ski retail to go along with our imp stool and our scathe craw. And let's keep these two death pill and salt pill just in case we run across um, some river bitty on the way. Now, one more time, let's check in the basement to see if we have any skeevers down in the basement. I doubt there is. No, there is not. Okay, and also I know from Praxis Runs that there is a giant outside to demonstrate the awesome power of Lebrique House, who is essentially a glass a glass cannon. She's weak as a kitten, but she could really kick ass uh, with these potions. Specifically, um, I'm using even these power potions that I've been selling. As you can see, they do 46% more damage with 200, two handed weapons, which is a considerable boost. Um, and these lingering damage health potions which I'm considering saving for now yeah you know what let's use the poisons of slow instead on the giant so that would be number five here we go okay here we go first thing we're gonna do of course is pump out a little stormy little storm atronach Right here, breathing heavy off of it, off of the right there. Okay, Stormy, get on that. Okay, you got this, Stormy. And what am I doing? Paralyze the bugger. Check how much damage you're doing. Uh oh. Don't kill me. Bad giant. See this? And somebody forgot to take some vegetable soup. Actually, he's almost done. Bad giant. Bad giant. Okay, let's grab that. Good job, Stormy. Good job. Get you a case of Joel Cola for that one. Okay, now. You know what I want to do? Let's make a big, another big batch of vegetable soup. Another ten, because we're going on a trip. Don't want to run out. It's funny how tomatoes are always scarce in the beginning when you're making vegetable soup, and then it turns into leeks that become the bottleneck. Done and done. Okay, so I think we are ready. Yeah, I feel comfortable with that. All right, skeever tail. The first place that skeever tail is found in abundance. Well, not the first, but one place is Lunt's Hunt. Lunt's Hut. Where is Lunt's Hut slack? Lunt's Hut is in Rorikstead, which conveniently enough is one of the places that our magical carriage driver will take us to. 
I really wouldn't be able to do that with a normal carriage driver, but hey. We got special privileges because we have the Lakeview Manor. Now, like I said, uh, we might be able to come up with our first trophy. A saber cat. Lunt's hut is here we are in, Ski in Skeever Town. <laughs> Rorikstead, okay? You pass through Rorikstead, you go up the hill, go to the north, and it's up on that hill there. And there's often a saber cat just over the hill here. Not this time. It's wolves. Okay, that's okay. I know where there's lots of saber cats. Is it a skeever? Yeah, I think it's a skeever. No, it's a wolf. Okay. We don't really need you. You you want to do this? Make up your mind. Okay, that's it. You had your chance. Okay, now. As soon as we get go up this path here and you're just gonna be just absolutely bombarded by skeevers here. Best time. Very good time to use command animal. Calm these buggers down. Look at that bitten rabies bit. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And I want to make a trophy to one of these things. <laughs> they, they actually make pretty good trophies. Seriously. Yeah, I changed my mind about uh, the various trophies I'm going to be making. Yeah, skeevers make pretty good trophies. Okay, so there's four outside and there's two more inside. And they'll be coming at you right away. Jeez, they almost killed me. They almost killed me. Kind of stagger locked me as soon as I walked in the door. Okay, I didn't think I'd need vegetable soup, but maybe yeah, I'll take some. Alright, and this is Lunt's hut. Lunt is dead. Or Lund. Lund. Yeah. Lund's hut. So we'll just take his uh, his Coors Light and uh, his ingredients here, garlic, and we'll be on our merry way. Unfortunately, this is not a usable bed. Otherwise, this would be a great, great little headquarters. <laughs> if you don't mind living with a dead body. <laughs> Hey, you know, it does. some people, that doesn't bother them, you know? As long as it doesn't smell too bad, yeah. Okay, next place to find skeevers. Most deaf is Bleak Falls Barrow. Let's go there now. And what kind of bonus do I have happening here? Should be Warrior Stone. It is indeed Warrior Stone. All right, all right. It's good. All is right with the world. All right, let's make our way up to Be Bleak Falls Bureau. Starting off by fast traveling to Anissa's cabin, and looks like Come on, get up. what's going on here? Done it before. Man, I don't think I've done this uh, random encounter before. What's your story? Oh, hello there. Did yes. notice you come up? I was focusing my magicka. Okay. Or at least I thought I was. I don't really know what I'm doing. Obviously. That's quite a staff you have there. I used to think so too. See, my grandfather was a wizard. My father wouldn't talk about it much. But I found some of his things in the attic, including this staff. After that, I thought I was turning into a wizard, too, because dead things near me would come to life again for a while. I okay. went to the College of Winterhold. They just laughed at me. The magic is in the staff, not in me, they said. Well, um, 
maybe you know give the staff to me before someone gets hurt okay okay you've talked me into it okay that was easy <laughs> keep it okay you must have used up the magic in the staff or something just a staff of dread zombies how about that okay you know that this is the way it works see Just point and click. Anyways, that actually might be useful. What's this? Hey, stay away while you got that spell on you. <laughs> um. Oh, that was nice acquisition. Okay. Here's where we. Here's a little path up to Bleak Falls Barrel. Ooh. Great way to increase my slaughtered bunny count. Um, where'd the other one go? Alright, that's not that me. <laughs> Back to business, come on. And let's just ignore these guys here. Now ain't this a surprise. There's the other one. Okay. Bandits outside, engage or not engage, uh, that is the question. Let's just focus on getting ski retails. So, Snowball, you hang here. Run if you see any bandits, okay? Seriously. I don't want you dying on me. I kind of like you. Okay, if anything gets my way, I'm just going to paralyze it. And arrows are flying, but it's okay. Okay, how about a little stormy? Save some for me, stormy. Poor guy. <laughs> It's a chance. And I'm not even sure this is worth vegetable soup. Excellent. Good job, Stormy. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, it was too late now. I wanted to buy the candlelight spell. Alright. Tons of skeevers in here. Eight to be exact. One. Two. All of which are going to give up a skeever tail. Three, four, five, six, seven. And found them all. Great. Okay, let's push a little deeper into the complex. I'm not going to bother with those guys, just want the ski retail. There's one there. Should be another one on the ground fairly soon. There we go. That's 10. Actually got him. I don't. I, I don't know if this is a good idea. Probably not. Don't kill me. 
You coming after me? Yeah. He probably one shot me. Just in time. Pretty sure he can one shot me. Uh oh. Just in time. <laughs> um, where is that? Uh, let's give him one of these weakness to shock. There we go. This will help you out, Stormy. And oh man, he's taking a spanking. Big spanking. That's enough out of you. And we'll take your money and your torch, and that's it. Okay. Now it is snake, snake whale to open this up, and then we get three more skeevers. Snake, snake, whale, open that up without getting poison darted. And that's one down. That's two down. That nice reach on the hammer, eh? And. Should be one more. And that's three. Okay, so what are we looking at now? 19, awesome. Now, the next place to get Ski Retail is Fort Dun Dunstad? Yeah, Fort Dunstad. This is not going to be no walk in the park, though. This is going to be a bitch. Especially with, uh, with really crappy armor. We should fix that. Since the Lord's Stone is right near Fort Dunstead, we should go to the Lord's Stone first, then to Fort Dunstead. Fort Dunstead. And I think everybody's dead. Let's just take off our gear here. thinking you know what I just remembered where the giant spider is you often find skeever tails in those little cocooned uh, yeah let's go back in sorry my bad besides we could take that spider I forgot this pickpocket book. You're good. You can use a little spit shine. Still have three minutes on our veggie soup. Okay, here we go. Can we paralyze this guy? Oh, you can. Oh, no match. 
No match. There we go. And again. And again. Excellent. Okay, we're coming back for you, man. Help me. Help. Now how many do we have? Twenty two. Awesome. I think I have six back at the home at the homestead. But for now, let's blow this popsicle stand. waiting for me eh? when we exit let's just do a chicken shit quick save put away the war hammer put away all weapons go into sneak mode See what happens. Okay, uh, home, James. We can't because enemies are nearby. Can we sneak out? We can. All right. And did Snowball survive? He's right there. Awesome. Who's a good snowball? We can wait. That means we can fast travel. Back to Lakeview Manor. And just as an example of what we're headed for. To show you what kind of potions you can make with this set of ingredients. First of all, let's take up these skeeper tails. We're almost at the target level. Only 10 more. Yeah, we can pull that off. There's tons of skeeper tail at Fort Dunstad. Fort Dunstad. For now, let's make 10 of these buggers. Imp stool, skate craw, and skeeper tail makes. Check this out. This is like ridiculous. 12 points of poison damage for 10 seconds. That's like 120 points of poison damage plus 23 points of concentrated poison damage. Basically, that's Ravage Health. It actually reduces the enemy's health pool. And then another 23 points of poison damage on top of that. And we have um, the concentrated poison perk. I wonder if I should make them all. Yes, because I don't intend on putting any more points into alchemy. So why not? Yeah, let's make them all. You know what, this is pretty much mission accomplished. These are our new poisons. 
Yeah, you guys. Actually, let's use these up. Let's go, let's go see if we can get our first port, uh, trophy. Right here, my favorite trophy, Saber Cat. It requires a Saber Cat pelt, of which all Saber Cats drop when you kill them, and two Saber Cat tooth teeth. And that is a crapshoot. A Saber Cat may drop a tooth, it may also drop an eye. So, um, we may potentially have to kill multiple Saber Cats in order to get enough Saber Cat tooth. Let's give it a shot. There is lots of saber cats in this area here, in the White Run Tundra. I know exactly where they are. And it is late. No, it's early in day. Let's wait. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I want to try out my new kick ass poison. Here we go. From White Run Stables. Push northwest. Go past this grove of trees here. Gonna veer off to the north. And you see that line of trees there? There's a ravine right in front of that line of trees. There's a saber cat that always hangs out there, real sneaky like. He always ambushes you because he kind of hangs out right in the ravine so it's hard to see him before he kind of like, he's almost on top of you. So come down this end of the ravine so you keep, there he is right there. There he is right there. And we're going to paralyze him and then go out of Mard. Okay, poisoning up here, boss. We should be able to two shot him. Jeez! The second poison was a waste. Oh, well, I'll see that. And he gives up an eye. Dang it. Okay. So we have to kill at least two more saber cats. Ooh, funny. What did I do? Oh, I just. <laughs> Mr. Fumblefingers took a poison. Or a, a two handed potion. By mistake. One of my um, requirements was to harvest all the resources necessary to make trophies. And one of the things you need to make a skeever trophy is a charred skeever hide. All giants camps have charred skeever hides. Let's just see if we can run in and steal one and then we can make a skeever trophy. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay, looking for another saber cat. There could be one at Green. What's it called? Evergreen Grove? Have we been there yet? No, we have not. But all in this area here. Actually, there could be one south of the cat, Giants Camp. I gotta watch out because they can instantly kill me. What about going to the Lord Stone Slack? Yeah, I know. I just wanted to get a trophy before the week's out. Because we've been doing a lot of business and building and, uh, and whatnot this week. Okay, we have now have Evergreen Grove on the compass. Where's that rabbit? <laughs> a 
okay, we're in Sabre Cat Country. Come on, game, cooperate. Okay, there's Evergreen Grove. Or, I forget what it's called. It's a bear. Dang it. Okay, well, that's a trophy we want to. <laughs> so much for my memory. Green Spring Hollow. I knew there was green in there somewhere. Where is this bear? Come on now, bear. Here we go. Get ripped off. There we go. Check that out. Four shot at a bear. And we got bear claws. Great. So we need two more. Or one more. There's a saber cat. Excellent. Yeah, you. Come here, pussy. Give up a tooth. That a boy. Excellent. One more. If I just keep pushing west, I'm I'm sure I'm almost positive we're gonna run into more saber cats. There's tons in this area. I think I know where one is down in here in this little oh shit you serious no 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 not now sorry thief this will not stand this aggression will not stand you tried to mug the wrong person here yeah now give it up what do you got on you Oh, you got lots of goodies. Some nice elven gilded armor. Nice. There's a saber cat. <laughs> He's probably going where? <laughs> He's got his Skyrim eyes on. Just over this rise here. Yeah, shit. Oh, jeez, that was close. It's a good thing he missed. Okay, give up a tooth. Come on. Atta boy! We got our first trophy. Excellent. That was close. It's a good thing he missed because they can one shot you. I mean, we don't have the armor to withstand a saber cat, saber cat attack. Okay, so now all we need are is uh, some straw. Did I remember to take out some straw? I have some stashed here. No, I do not. Um, or rather, no, I did not. Let's take us 10 straw. You cannot 
farm. You can only buy it, so. Let's make our first trophy. We put it right here. It's one of my favorite. Saber cat. Yes, please. Awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so we're off and running in our trophy room. That's it. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time when we go more trophy hunting with Leprick House. Thanks for watching. See you next uh, Oh yeah, by the way, this is Thursday. So this is the end of the week for Major Slack Attack. Uh, I'll take my customary weekend break Friday and Saturday off and Labrique House will return on Sunday for more trophy hunting. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on Sunday. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1. That's all. That's all it takes. All right. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.